this is my latest homemade film rig my skateboard doll is now finished and ready to go in my last video I posted an update when I was still building it and it's now finished now I wanna say um, although it took over two months and it's probably my biggest project yet it was actually very very simple and I'm gonna talk to you about some of the parts that I used and why I specifically chose this design if you didn't see my previous video the reason why I had to update my dolly is that my first one that I built wasn't as stable as I wanted it to be and so I needed something that I could stand on or sit on while I'm filming and I went for this specific design because I wanted the dolly to be able to turn my previous dolly could only film um, in one direction in a straight line so this one here can actually turn and that's why I went for this design here so all four wheels or all four sets of wheels can actually rotate like this which means I can put it on a curved track and the dolly will just turn while I'm filming in terms of parts I've got four wheels on each corner of the dolly and I've got four just to make sure that I can carry the weight of the camera cameraman and maybe the, the focus puller but I'm not gonna go for it until I've tested it and you can see here that this L-shaped um, iron was very crucial and fortunately for me I had it lying around on the balcony I don't know where, where it came from so I, that's what I used and it's quite quite sturdy how I managed to get my wheels to pivot is as you can see here I've got this one long 10 millimeter screw running from the base from the top of, of the dolly right, right to the bottom and I'm using four screws to create that gap so that my wheels can turn and not touch the base and right at the bottom there I've got a lock nut that obviously just keeps this thing from falling out as it's spinning because it could spin out and that could be slightly disastrous to say the least. For the base of the dolly I've got just simple wood that I bought at the hardware and I just had to make sure that it's thick enough and so you can see I've got two pieces of wood that I've joined together that I've screwed in just a couple of screws to keep it together. In terms of the width I just made sure that it can fit through a door so it's about 70 centimeters and the length lengthwise is about a meter, a meter and ten centimeters and that's just to allow for the cameraman, the tripod and the focus puller when I get to that stage. The last mechanism that I built was this little T-joint that I use and this is where the, the rod comes in here that the dolly grip actually uses to push and to pull the dolly. I was worried that the PVC might not be as, as strong a material to use but I actually found that it actually just works pretty well because it allows for this movement here which means the dolly grip can have at whatever angle that suits him best based on his height and stuff. And the rest that's left to do now is just to paint it black and then I'm going to have a piece of mat um, glued on the top here just to allow my tripod to be able to stand firm and not slide off. And also for me when i'm sitting on my chair that i won't actually fall off so i'm gonna have to now find a little stool maybe like a chair from a drum kit that i can sit on here and then that will be that